version day 88 uh, version 2 um, so everyone knows I have invited Braverman to go down with me to um, with review these USAID projects in this uh, uh, interim Haiti Relief Commission so we can kind of look and see how the money was spent um, I have reason to believe that this Osprey Global is currently about ready to stage another one of these in Haiti uh, I'm going to just say it uh, I look at you know, I put information together and storyboard it together and look for patterns. Um, I just had a long conversation with Cy Hirsch and, um, you know, a great, uh, obviously, a print journalist and so forth. And he basically said, look, I rely on inside sources. I'm not, I don't do this, put external sources together and try to connect the dots. He said, you're more like a Peter Dale Scott. And I said, oh, that's funny. I put Peter Dale Scott on the first slide the first day and he's been on ever since. So, you know, we... Uh, we have to bring in these uh, folks like Cy Hirsch who have these contacts inside the CIA and FBI. I told him about my informal feedback net, uh, network where I put out, uh, you know, 20% working theory every day. And it's kind of this accretive process, this iterative process kind of homing in toward the truth um, from the sources and citations I get back. Some of those are breadcrumbs from people in the intelligence community and the FBI. So having said that, I'll explain why I think Haiti is, is about ready to be partitioned like South Sudan was, or, or an all outright coup like um, uh, Honduras was in, in the Hillary administration. So um, with no further ado, I'll just go on to what I believe the plan is going to be. I think it's to partition Haiti into three pieces. There's the north, where all the USAID investment's going. There's the middle, which is going to be this kind of no man's land. Uh, it's where you're going to have people from the Dominican Republic, 150,000. I don't know how many of those are going to be Contras or whatever they're going to be called, Muslim Brotherhood or, or La Raza or whatever. But there's this group of, that, of Haitians, that have, uh, exiles that have been training. And it's the Zebig uh, thing. That land over there should be yours. I think they're going to promise some land here in the center. And they're going to organize a coup. And I think they're expecting uh, a large action in this area, Mirabile, because uh, there's this only one kind of Mirabile by the mean way in French means uh, s sweeping the targets together, like funneling all the targets. So uh, anyway, I, I believe the action will incur here. I think that is why the 250,000 body bags were ordered by DynCorp. I I believe the medical students cut their chops on organ harvesting, and I do believe there's I mean there's forced vaccinations on these kids in these different UNICEF centers. So, uh, okay, maybe that's all, you know, why did, why did Dominican Republic, you know, push 150,000 people out of their country into Haiti? You know, why the body bags? Maybe all those are a little bit uh, extreme. But then I see this guy, Bill Swing. Bill Swing, who was the ambassador to Haiti under, under Bill Clinton, uh, he's Dr. Death. Uh, he's known for these swings, literally. I, I don't think that's his real name, but he's known for these swings of populations. To um, he's in the uh, migration. This is a migration association, OIM. The last time I remember Bill Swing, it was six million dead in the Congo. Um, so, and that was for a mineral play there. I believe it was. Can't believe it was the Joe Wilson one. I think it was uranium or or some precious metal in the Congo. So this is the Congo all over again. Um, when I, every, anytime I see Bill Swing, and he's in Haiti right now, so to me, all these things I'm seeing with arms coming into uh, uh, to Fort Liberté, a prison being built there by the State Department, uh, a huge upgrade going in for uh, that's planned for Cap Hatien. To uh, this is a blow up here of this area right here uh, of the north. This is being solidified. This is going to be where the war is fought here in the central or right here between Port-au-Prince and, and Mirabale. And I think Haiti is going to be petitioned north and south, just like South Sudan. And you say, well, how that, could that be without the president, without Trump? Well, this exact same thing happened in Guatemala in 1954 with uh, the Dulles brothers. They did the overthrow of, of our Benz uh, without, you know, and basically told Eisenhower about it afterward. You know, Mr. President, only one person died. Well, I don't know. I think 54 died. But, you know, they basically let him know that we had a great revolution. When has Hillary ever done that? Honduras, 2009. 
they ran the whole Honduran coup and let Obama know basically the day before, let Dennis Ross know the day before. Dennis Ross left the State Department and so did uh, Richard Holbrook. Well, he got reassigned. Um, so I, I don't know how else to say it other than whenever I see him, uh, Dr. Death, I, I, look, uh, I say there's going to be a revolution. When has this ever happened before? Well, yeah, it sure did happen, 2011. General Grange right there, Tyler Drumheller, Osprey Global. She, she manages the port of, of Norfolk right now. That would be a great place to ship weapons out of to uh, arm. A, this is zero footprint all over again. Here he is asking for the plans of Sudan. That was the, you know, from Tyler Drumheller, that was the plan to partition Sudan. You take the half of the resources and then you call it a civil war. Um, this is just uh, Pug Winokur uh, over and over again. You use these police forces, you use DynCorp to train these mercenary forces to then go into the country. And then you, once they get there, you reward them with with uh, this kind of thing, with sex trafficking. And you do, uh, you let them do uh, organ harvesting for money to pay for the operation. Again, if this isn't the case, then what the heck are you doing at the Boston bombing? Or, or else I've got it all wrong and these aren't the two same people. This is where Monica Peterson's teacher, this is the one who, where we won't release her uh, master's thesis. Again, <clears throat> I, I'm not trying to go after Steve Feinberg, the owner of Dine, DynCorp, but I've got, if you look at the citations, there's 50. that They call G4S the chaos company. Wherever they go, there's chaos. Um, here's the guy who financed the Arkansas, did the money laundering for the Arkansas Development Fund, who also did all the money laundering for the operations in Europe, and he did the, the cover-up for the Citibank. Uh, for the bailout, for the for the crash, for the session crash. Look at the names: Boski, Madoff, Milliken. <clears throat> Destruction of evidence, missing money. There's the six uh, point or the six tri uh, billion missing from Haiti, the State Department. All the destroyed documents. Same same repeating pattern. This is the these are the ninety three destroyed documents. <clears throat> So, you know, representatives have uh, come forward. Uh, I believe Cynthia McKinney's gone to Haiti and has talked about the history of Haiti. People uh, had said, oh, well, you know, you're jumping on, you know, an old thing with Haiti being kind of like the, ever since Tuskegee closed down, Haiti's been kind of the test lab for the American pharmaceutical industry. Well, you add to the list another, <laughs> another thing. With the the micro loan sharking, I think it, 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 when I say this, ten things come back. When I said the organ harvesting, ten referrals came back of sources and citations proving the point that this is exactly what's going on. I'd love to see this master thesis now. I think she nailed it. Like I said, all the investment in the north, no man's land in the middle. Let the people suffer in the south. Do the kidneys. Put the insurgents in here. Put, put the 150,000 insurgents, the trained insurgents in here in Port-au-Prince. Take down this. Here's exactly what I think is going to happen. They're going to put in this new guy. can't remember his name. They're going to ratify. He, he had 6%, the new guy, had 6% of the exit polls and supposedly won by 90% of the vote. This doesn't seem real to me. Uh, November 20th election. And they have to bring the parliament back in and ratify the parliament on February the 7th. So if they let that happen, they don't need that guy anymore. Now they can bring the hero of the North, Martelli, the guy who was the hero of the earthquake, to lead the charge and say, okay, we're going to have a civil war. I think they're only going to use this guy, this, this puppet down here, for a couple of weeks, and then he's out. Again, body bags, organ donors, uh, you know, coming in on cruise ships, uh, secret, secret hospitals, AK 47s coming in to uh, Fort Liberté. This Capetien that I focused on earlier, I've received documents that said there's going to be a massive new port here in uh, Capetien. 
I believe they're also doing geotunneling or tunneling mining, where they just start in one and they just drill a tunnel all the way through the all the way through the mountain. I believe there's going to be a geo mining operation right there. New University, all the investment up there in that north. The more I get into this, the, just the more it, uh, uh, the more proof comes back. More sources have come back for both of these things that I've mentioned. Keep these sources coming because what happens is when I talk to people on the radio or I talk to Cy Hirsch or whatever, I send them my sources and say, look, I'm not the first person. There, there's 10 journalists that said it. <clears throat> I could do the same. I could do, uh, oh, by the way, Trello is a good collaborative thing because I got hacked pretty bad. Now a couple of other people in the group are getting hacked. Trello is a way of taking uh, associations like this, like let's say this is a brownstone association, putting it all together in a storyboard, and this becomes a card in Trello. So then uh, all the all the citations, the hundreds of citations that go with brownstones, you know, like Craig Spence and DC Madam, and you know uh, the one they ran in, uh, you know, Scientology in LA, and and the one they ran in um, Boulder. They all travel like it's like object oriented. The the all the citations travel with the slide, and then you can sort the the cards easily, and people can see the relationships a lot easier. So what I'd like to do is I've been doing all the uh, storyboarding myself, but I'd like other people to start doing storyboards, sort of like movies. You know, Tom Hanks and this was in this one, and then in this one. So like by movie, each one of these operations is like a movie, and then we'll have the cast of characters, and it's easier to then say, tell me all the movies Tom Hanks was in, and, and you can search and go here, 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 and here. Like DynCorp. How many coups was DynCorp involved in? Here, 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 here. How many times did they get caught doing sexual trafficking? Here, 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 and here. So that, that's where I want to get to. So this is, it's at a glance easy to prove connections rather than having to do a whole bunch of research and citations and click a bunch of links. I guess that's the easiest way to say that. How am I doing on time? So... Okay, so I'll finish off with this. Um, the FBI did put out a whole bunch of, of documents, and they were all redacted. The only thing that wasn't redacted, agents' names, everything. It was, hello, Mr. Redacted. I mean, it was comical. It was 99% redacted. So I, I think that's so, in history, we can show that we put out the, the Mark Rich files from 2001. Kind of funny. But anyway, the 650,000 emails have to at least be announced as, as far as the metadata. You got to know the to, from, where. If you want to stop another coup, so or organ trafficking or uh, forced vaccination. I mean, so and again, this five-year thing is getting more laughable by the day. And let's go. And Braverman and I can go research all this. And let's go talk to this. Let's go talk to these politicians who say that the Clinton Foundation gave us ten cents on the dollar at most. And let's find out if it's right or not. Let's do live interviews from Haiti. Every, we'll go interview every one of these people. Okay? Fair? Um, now, again, I want to remind everybody, we have probable cause. This is not a fishing expedition. 40-year veteran of the chief of detectives says there's child exploitation and sex crimes in these 650,000 emails. And we have the phone records that can place these people in Haiti and Jeff Epstein's island. When are you going to get on this case? I think uh, Preet might have been wearing blue contacts here for this picture because his eyes don't look that blue in this one. But he's he's still staring at that picture on the wall. Okay, and here's our conspirators. So um, everyone keeps sending me names of the people. Of, this is the 19 State Department people that had Gmail accounts. So keep sending me people who you think might be, and I'll storyboard these into into clutches, into groups. Okay, thanks very much.